Hey YouTube, this is Kerry with Let's Tex Underground. I thought I'd bring you another video real quick. I had a uh, subscriber ask a question, and I apologize for taking so long to get to your uh, video response, but uh, they were asking uh, how hard it was to hook up solar uh, to a battery bank and into a load. Um, basically what you need is a solar controller like this right here, Morningstar. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different other manufacturers. I, I personally recommend Morningstar. I've had good luck with them. Um, this particular solar, uh, car, solar controller, um, you can do multiple things with it. Number one, you can bring your solar into it. You hook your battery up. Um, it senses your battery. Uh, it'll tell you with the three LED lights if you're full, half full. Um, if you pay a little bit more money, you can get an LCD display, and I highly recommend that. Uh, that gives you a whole lot more uh, to uh, view what's really going on with your battery. Uh, this particular kind is a, uh, a PWM. It's called a pulse width modulation. Uh, they make some that are a little bit better, a uh, little different technology, and I won't go into this in this video. Um, I highly recommend, I'll give a shout out to uh, Missouri Wind and Solar. Uh, he puts out some really super videos. I, I highly recommend uh, Y'all go over and check his channel out if you don't even know about him. Uh, he gives away uh, wind turbines and solar panels and uh, all kinds of stuff. Guys, real super nice guy uh, out there putting out the information to make it easy for uh, do-it-yourselfers, advanced people. He has a whole range of videos. Uh, so just go on over there to uh, Missouri Solar and Wind. Uh, he's got more videos than you can you can stand to watch and. They're very well done videos. We're really uh, got a lot of information in the videos. So I highly recommend you going over there. But uh, this would be one of the pieces you would need. Uh, basically all you need is a solar panel, a battery, and a load. A load would be any 12 volt uh, source load. Uh, you would put like an inverter uh, up to your load there. Uh, it'd be 12 volts going out to your inverter and flipping it over to make 120 volts to run something small. Uh, this particular one is good for 30 amps. That's why it says ProStar 30. Um, on the back side of it, um, there is a built-in heat sink. Uh, when uh, your battery is topped off and your solar cells are still putting out, uh, it can actually uh, divert some of the heat uh, through the heat sink. But, uh, you know, if, if you want to get started, this here is not too terribly expensive to get started with. Uh, a very simple uh, solar system would be one solar panel. Um, a good deep cycle 12 volt battery make sure it's a deep cycle not a car battery um, and and then your load that you're going to use um, there's a ton of resources on, on YouTube there's a ton of resources on the internet um, just great great information out there so I highly recommend um, if you're going to do something uh, with solar uh, start small Go ahead and watch all the videos. Uh, the guys who are putting the videos out have made the mistakes. Uh, they'll tell you what works or what doesn't work and um, kind of steer you in the right direction so that uh, you won't have to go through some of the expensive mistakes some other people did. But anyway, um, this is a video response for one of my YouTube subscribers. I appreciate y'all subscribing. I apologize for taking so long to make put out another set of videos, uh, but I will try to uh, do a little bit better. Um, just work is crazy and and uh, you know it's the springtime and and my particular job i work at is, is real super busy so um again uh thank my subscribers for subscribing uh, if you have any comments please comment below uh please like my videos and uh, if you're not a subscriber i hope that uh, the content you find here is uh worthy to subscribe to and uh please leave comments i i appreciate comments uh, there's a lot of good people out there uh, a lot of good comments coming in Anyway, thank you and have a good day.